slight breeze our referee tonight is Alexis De Silva and there's the whistle and here we go from California's capital to the Republic it's the United in the home stretch and Sacramento's flying forward Pirano Keko to his right Herrera ahead of it he'll find number seven he'll go right for goal and Andrew Thomas stands his ground he, he actually wasn't shooting that one Keko he was looking to try and hit Sebastian Herrera at the far post Andrew Thomas, but it was a really good counter, and you saw Pirano, just the way he commits the defender, which then allows the, just the timing between him and Keiko was really, really good. Hamilton playing this one forward, Zico Bailey. Not afraid to shoot Zico Bailey. And now he's uh, drawn his second foul tonight, too. And a booking has been shown. Republic getting some good spots, but here go New Mexico down the other way. And Sacramento's going to need to get back in a hurry. This one's crossed all the way to Moreno. Moreno to his left, to his right. Going to chop this one back, just missing wide by about an inch. He was thinking about as soon as he was making that run, when he received the ball, how can I shift it onto my right and get a free shot? And he does great, just shift to the right. Pulls a shot, Danny Vitiello, I think, had it covered. But that's how dangerous this New Mexico United side can be. What I will like. say is if you, if they do make it from the playoffs from here, you probably think they're one of the hottest teams. If they, they're four points out of it right now. They're playing the two top teams in the whole league. Phoenix is one of the hottest teams, and Keiko might find himself with a yellow here. He does. pirano has got his own moves. Pirano, left side turning, Herrera, Herrera, and it's stopped by Andrew Thomas. Just a bit of a tug in the back there. El Paso Locomotive the other day almost snuck away with a 1-0 victory here in Sacramento. Well, it's difficult to do. Only two goals allowed all season long in the first half at home here by the Sacramento Republic. Nick Ross back, looked Felipe look a little bit more forward. Pirano plays it out wide. Jacker collects. Jacker delivers. Back post. Maybe misplayed a bit by Astorga. Keko right back into the mix. Here's Kirsten Pirano. Oh, just over the bar. Keko's going to play it forward off the head of Pirano, using his pace now. Oh, he's flying through. And he's taken down from behind. And it's Hernandez who clips 22 Pirano. There's Keko coming all the way to it. Mark Briggs talked about Keko and just the ability to really get things going. Meanwhile, Moreno takes it right away. Moreno working, slipping, falling, trying to find Borgelin. Stopped by Danny Vidiello. And guys, what are we doing? And you're looking at 55 minutes. Substitutes might come in. And I think Moreno has to hit this. I think he, and he loses right his there. foot in. Here's Pirano. Gets through. Bailey, nutmeg, Vianer, Vianer, just away from goal, couldn't find target there, you've got to land it, that only many can dream of, look at this, Adam Moffitt, through yep. the legs, through the legs of Bailey, and Vianer just drags the shot wide with the right foot, very similar to the shot that Amanda Moreno took in the first play. I mean, he hasn't played 90 minutes in a long, long time. Borgelin, Connor Donovan, and Connor Donovan will receive a booking here. And just caught wrong side. Borgelin, good turn. Peeling off. Played over the top. Wheat. Gurr. Moreno circling around. Finding Rivas. Rivas is sent away by Danny Vidiello. Passing it to Zico Lewis. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Lee Desmond's oh. gonna send Jack Gurr into some space. Gurr is on side. Yearwood's tracking Gurr to his left foot. Gurr will send it, it's just over the crossbar. And he wasn't far away, Jack Gurr. We've seen him score with that left foot before, but what a pass from Lee Desmond. And that's, Jack Gurr's been getting in those positions all night and the ball hasn't really made its way to him. End of the match, also dangerous. United. 
A little direct ball here, easy enough for Danny Vidiello. And again, would have worse it, I guess, if the foul would have been given. And here comes a yellow card to the bench. An opportunity to pounce. Felipe doesn't have numbers. Felipe just trying to give it a run and nearly goes in. Last touched by New Mexico and Will Seymour again may have just gotten enough on it. It's not quite over. A few fans leave in the stadium. They must not have saw <laughs> the game the other day. Well, the problem yes, is can. for New Mexico, I know that you get at least a point, but I don't know if this does much for you. Yeah, for Sacramento, you remain in first place. This is headed forward. Zico Lewis, he's on side as is Roro right behind him. Sends it across. Here's a chance for Russell Cicerone. And again, a defender for New Mexico comes up big. Yearwood makes the denial, and there is the whistle.